or in Filipino, Pambansang Museo ng Pilipinas. Just a quick background before we start with this video was that the former names of the National Museum was Agricultural and Commerce Building and Department of Tourism Building. Did you know that the building was constructed in the 1940 and designed in a neoclassical style by Filipino architect Antonio Toledo in the late 1930s? The National Museum was officially opened to the public last June 28, 2016. And everyone, did you know that the National Museum of Natural History houses 12 permanent galleries that exhibit the rich biological and geological diversity of the Philippines? It includes creatively created displays of botanical, zoological, and geological specimens that represent our unique natural history. And today, it has been one of the most visited educational, tourist destinations in Metro Manila. And now, we will go straight with the most awaiting part of this video as I will be finally showing with you everything that you will see inside the natural history of the National Museum. So, let's start! Gregorio Magno, or Saint Gregory the Great, was known as the father of Christian worship for his reform of Roman liturgy. He was pope from 590 to his death in 604. He systemized liturgical music, which was given the name Gregorian chant. He is generally depicted wearing liturgical garments, such as in this canvas painting. The purpose of works of art may be to communicate political, spiritual, and philosophical ideas, to create a sense of beauty, to exploit the nature or to exploit the nature of perception for pleasure or to generate strong emotions. Sorry for using this video, but here's one of the most memorable moments I had while experiencing or strolling around the two museums. Here's the gallery that I was really interested in, an art gallery wherein the artist uses fabrics to convey an artwork. As I analyzed the whole entire gallery, I must say that in my own opinion, the artist creates this artwork just by moving his hand freely to create something out of it. And if there is a story or meaning behind these artworks, I would be thrilled to explore it online.
will be your uh, favorite piece of art at the museum? Um, one of the art that I like at the museum would be the Battle of Makdan. It is a historical event that took over six centuries ago. Um, it is also first known and recorded of uh, resisting of the Filipinos against foreign forces who tries to um, invade our country. Um, what else? Do you have anything else you would like to add? Um, I also like the um, painting of Dr. Jose Rizal. Um, our national uh, hero in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, he created the Nomikawa of El Filipus Turismo and also Nolini Tanger. Um, with those novels, it helped our fellow Filipinos to open their eyes with the abuses or the wrongdoings of Spanish colonial. He sacrificed his life in order for us to uh, realize the evilness of the uh, Spanish colonials. All right. And that will be all. I see. Thank you. This painting is his interpretation of a violent and historical event that took place in Manila during the Spanish colonial period. Fernando Bustamante, the Spanish-appointed Governor-General of the Philippines from 1717 to 1719, had demanded that the Spanish friars repay the loans they had borrowed from the government. In anger, the friars led a mob which assassinated him and his son in 1719. Reflecting the power of the Catholic Church in relation to the state at the time, of art have the potential to improve our mood. Bringing up feelings or joy, peace, or even inspiration, art is everywhere you see. Sculptures are commonly used in parks to enlighten visitors and create interest. Wall posters provide inspiration and information. Thank you.